look at him. Look at your hero! John, Juan Cena and his beautiful blue eyes and just mm -hmm. kissably soft pouty lips. Yep. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and costume minute play is back, continuing our <laughs> romp through Skyloft. So let's see, what were we doing? We just uh, frolicking. frolicking. Just, just straight frolicking. That's frolicking. all there is to do. Look at that! I found a human heart growing out of the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. This is high in protein. Yeah, it is the best source of protein. I mean, it's a muscle, so... Ah. Yeah. It's full of iron. Mm -hmm. For iron abs. Oh, yeah. I remember, um... Hey. I've, uh, tried cooking with... Oh! <laughs> hey, hey once. Huh? Okay. You can do his voice. I do lots of voices. Oh, fine. Yeah, do it. I'm having stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. Call me Deep Throat. I don't know. I don't know why, but every time I look at him, I just think of Cedric Diggory from Harry Potter. Yeah, I definitely oh. see it. Hey, Juan Cena, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Pretty sure he always acts weird. He's a nervous wreck. Aww. He is. He's just a quivering shell of a man, really. I'm so sorry, Juan Cena. I don't remember the voice I did for him. I don't know. I'm so sorry, Juan Cena. I really wanted to tell you, but if Cruz found out I told you, it sounds like Groose, by the way, Groose. Oh. It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. I can't handle the truth. <laughs> he can't handle much of anything, really. Yeah. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't know as I was there, just like in a movie, and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing really loudly. I just wanted I wanted to warn you, Juan Cena, but just as I tried to sneak away, Gruus and his gang grabbed me. And then stuffed you in your locker? <laughs> they said that if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never be able to ride a bird ever again. Why are they not in prison? Yeah, that's, a, that's actually pretty threatening. So this is a little more extreme than just stealing his lunch money. Your waterfall would mean there's only one waterfall, waterfall on this island. <laughs> no, there's like two. There's one in the sky, and they're both by each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fed by some mystical. You know how to read a map, right? Um, <laughs> that's kind of an offensive question. <laughs> Forgive me, Juan Zeta. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. I mean, shut up, Neville Longbottom. I mean, let's face it, map reading? Oh, hey, we're being interrupted. <laughs> Can I help you, Pip? Going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. Whoa. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into this barring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. But I could just body slam it. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Just... I, can you imagine body slamming a chew and it just splattering everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> that or, you know, given that it's a blob, it would do nothing. Eh. I think, like, I think I would actually probably body slam shoes on a regular basis. I'd just go out and find them and just be like, Wee! 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 Hey, it's Juan Cena. So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. Well, he's gotta get ready for the freaking ladder match. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. Actually, the race is a ladder match, essentially. They're trying to get to the freaking idol first. Yep, yeah, and tr they're trying to, like, squat you away from it and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was saying earlier. God, what was I saying earlier? Shoot. I had a thought when Pip interrupted us. Oh, fuck him! I yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have a story. <laughs> he got a practice ward. Students at the Night Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp, sharp blade. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's, let's get this. 
Oh, and now it's time to murder my instructor so I may become the new master. Oh. <laughs> Decapitate him, steal his powers. Yep. Got it. The powers of being broad shouldered. He is really broad shouldered, actually. He's kind of a tank compared to, ever to like everyone but the headmaster. I, I can do this. Yeah. And then you're gonna do all this, and they're gonna make you do it again. All right. You haven't talked to him, you do. Oh, yeah. Fine. Stick him with the pointy end. But what if there's no pointy end? <laughs> then you have a mace? <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I'm now OP. Oh, yeah. If uh, harm was any indication. Yep. Ooh. If you've ever played the role-playing system harm, just, just use a mace. There's no reason to use a sword. <laughs> Once you've sliced up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try your big move. My finisher? <laughs> what is What's John Cena's finisher? I have no idea. I'm going to, I'm going to look this up right now. Yes, we this look. is information we need to know for this playthrough. This is critical. Critical, I say. Hey, it has a key on Ow! My fucking- Ow! That, that keys is a truck! Let's see. Um, I can't do this, John. We're just gonna go with this. Cena. Uh, I cannot type. Finishing. Move. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. It sounds like I'm just going to cycle my arms like this, and if you get hit, it's your fault. <laughs> His, okay, the first one that comes up here is the attitude adjustment. Huh. It's just like this uh, fireman carry into dropping them on their uh, upper backside head. <laughs> yeah. That's, that actually doesn't sound too impressive. <laughs> No, that I mean, is compared to some of the things I've seen other wrestlers do. Yeah, well, I mean, I want to say Hulk Hogan's signature move was uh, the leg drop thing, and, and that, that was actually screwing up his uh, yeah. back. But he's got a few diff he's got a few other ones as well. But I'm I'm not gonna spend all day looking at yeah. these for this. <laughs> now we just well, this can be the attitude adjustment right here. Yeah. So uh, I think they don't need the um, finishing blow. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that's what you're just doing. That's, that's how you kill my final boss. Ah. Spoiler. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> now we know there's a finishing blow. <laughs> Though I don't think they've had one quite as satisfying as the Ocarina of Time finishing blow to uh, Ganon. E. Though it makes me so mad later versions, they made his blood green. Yeah. It's like, give, keep the gratuitousness in this. There's so little. Yeah, I feel like Twilight Princess' was finishing blow was pretty satisfying. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Uh, Especially because they just had all the no, cinematography going for it. Yeah. Uh, it was a really epic final fight. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot that Twilight Princess was just repetitive with, but, uh... That mouth fight was pretty great. Um, can, can I I didn't want to talk to you again. I don't know why I came over here. Now you won't shut up. Oh god, you fool. <laughs> you can't keep Juan Cena hostage. He has to make his own rules. You can't walk out of here with a sword. You can't take swords out of What do you think you're doing speaking out with that? What? Your eyes say everything. You're I could look into them for days. <laughs> you want to go... Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. I mean, to find a bird, you surely need to cut somebody. Yeah. On this peaceful island. Where I don't know. Nobody it's... goes. It only seems peaceful in the sense that the police won't do anything, because, I mean, there's still people like Groose wandering around making open threats. That's true. That is very true. But uh, I remember what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, here, Pip was uh, asking if you could read a map. Oh. Oh, uh, no, not this. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. Um, are we going to go talk to the uh, strange springy <laughs> statue stranger? Maybe oh, it has yeah. candy. Yeah. How do you do? I'm what you call a Chicago stone. Glad to meet you. 
I'm a stone a few words. I'll get right to it. I'm gonna are. talk for about five million years of exposition. If you should find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, come see me. Cause you're a little bitch, aren't you? <laughs> I've got nothing for you right now, so I'm not really sure why I showed up. <laughs> Good luck out there, friend. It's because they don't have P to be your uh, tutorial bot yet. But by the time he has to leave me, I will have Fee to be my tutorial bot. I mean, this is true. But anyhow, what I was saying earlier... Wait, Aaron, you think of a reason to interrupt you oh, okay, before go, you actually go continue. on. Oh, okay, go on. Um, uh... Hardcore! <laughs> okay, go on. You're either going to uh, find your uh, lost wing or die trying, and <laughs> you chose to die trying. <laughs> you didn't save my life, you ruined my death, that's what you did. <laughs> But, um, anyhow, uh, what I was remembering, what I was trying to say earlier was he, as, uh, Pip was asking if you do how to read a map. Technically, reading a map could totally be, like, uh, cursive, and people just forgot how to do it, because they never, ever were told to use it again. And let's face it, this world is so tiny, why would you need a map? Yeah! You, I mean, it's like, oh, I don't know where that part of town is, it's like, how have you never been to it? Yeah, you can see it from here. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see a map being necessary for, like, navigating to the other islands. Mm, even then, only, yeah, sort of. Yeah. I mean, I get, like, a lot of its technical limitations. But, but yeah. yeah. But, but, as far as, like, a map of the town, really? Really? <laughs> Especially when he was trying to point out the waterfall to you on the map of the town. Yep. That can be seen from, like, literally any part of this island. Do you hear the news? One of the students in the wing ceremony has lost his bird. It's gone missing. Oh no, oh. shoot. Who is it? <laughs> oh really? That's terrible. We're just gonna keep blocking this pathway now. <laughs> I bet Gru set you guys up. It's gotta be pretty crippling to not be comfortable around uh, the lock wings in the society that is 100% dependent on them. Yeah. <laughs> So well, I mean, it's kind of like being a crippling that you, if you're afraid to drive a car in America. <laughs> there is kind of an odd dustiness to uh, the air, though. Like, you'll see a lot of, like, particles of just, like, kind of a little dust going by all the time. It's kind of, like, you can see it? Yeah. I, 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 what brought that up? I was thinking about, um, yeah, I'll talk about, uh... I'll talk about Barry's, uh, what about this game thing. And he was criticizing kind of like just the color palette for the sky. It was like one of the big things. Because it's all like kind of brown rather than like the bright, colorful world like the ocean was in Wind Waker, basically. And yeah, rather than being like just, just satisfying, you know, bright, bright blue sky with fluffy white clouds, you had this kind of curvy looking clouds. Yeah. And I haven't really thought too much about it until uh, then. And I was just noticing there's a lot of that kind of sandy quality to uh, the air and effects of it. Like, despite having some really vibrant colors, too. Yeah. Um. So... That thing's just like... It's got spit. <laughs> I actually, one thing I really liked from Wind Waker was the freaking chew design in it. Mm -hmm. Those things were freaking cute. Yeah, I, you seen my yellow chew blush. Yes, the one that looks stoned out of its mind. It looks absolutely just, it is having the weirdest grip. But, uh, it's, like, designed to be perfectly huggable, though. Like, I've had many friends be like, I'm going to cuddle this thing for forever. <laughs> And then it'll electrocute you. Oh yeah, it is the yellow chair. Will you be electrocuted? Oh. I'm... I'm a sucker now! I forgot that they uh, restrict your spin slash by... Well yeah, well. otherwise you'd be OP. Okay. <laughs> but uh... But yeah, the video I was talking about earlier that was uh... Barry from Game Grumps did uh... Was doing a small video series called What About This Game? Or he kind of like deconstructs and like points out simple things to kind of improve it, basically. And uh, yeah, it's, it has some pretty awesome in it actually does have some pretty good fair insight. And I recommend giving it a watch. Like as someone who loves this game, yeah. I recommend it.
Because despite all the praise I give this game, there is definitely stuff it does wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my hair is all about, uh, there's still some stuff that I'm like, why? <laughs> huh. There's a bird statue randomly at the end of this cave. Why? Thank God. <laughs> Save. I also still don't know how this saves none. Perhaps the world will never know what the middle-aged man meant 